Hey everybody, this is Nick with Rogue Overland, and today we're excited to take you through a trail review of Steel Bender. Uh, we are going to definitely be hitting the drop or the wall obstacle, and we're going to find out if we can get down it. Enjoy the video. Okay, so as you can see, starts off mellow and then we go right into a couple water crossings. Uh, we're here late summer, early fall, no big deal. They're pretty low, but we've been here before in the springtime and they can be quite a bit deeper, hub deep, maybe the size of a 33 inch tire. Right after that first obstacle, we get some back and forth uh, between sand and these sandstone slabs. Pretty mellow driving for a while. We're making our way towards the drop. So here we are at the obstacle of this trail, the wall or the drop. Got a Nissan Xterra going down it right now. It is a lot of fun.
we go. Coming down. Okay, nice and easy now. Nice and easy. A touch that way, right there. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Brakes, brakes, brakes. All right, so for a little reference on how tall this obstacle is, we have Andrea standing back here. She is the navigator for the Waypoint Wanderers Rebel Rally team, and she is just a smidge over five foot tall. No, no, how tall are you, Andrea? Smidge under five foot tall. Smidge under five foot tall, so there it is. Driver. Yep. progressing down towards the next obstacle. I believe it's called Dragon's Tail. And um, this trail basically has some layers of obstacles scattered in, and then it's just a lot of sandstone, small ledges, uh, sandstone flat surfaces that you just drive across, loose sand. It's kind of a combination of that. So when you're not in a major obstacle, you're just kind of puttering along uh, over slabs and up small ledges and through the sand. So, so far so good. Any day on the trail is a good day. So not a named obstacle, but a required climb that you have to go through to finish this trail. This thing is loose, lots of boulders, lots of sand mixed in there. You have to be real careful because if you get too crazy with the skinny pedal, stuff goes bang and sounds really expensive fast. this Nissan Xterra going up. We got a Jeep about to come through. And this is basically the go around, if you will, to this obstacle.
All right, we're at the obstacle called Dragon's Tail. Basically got to head up this little staircase here, a little ledge at the top. It gets a little tight, but it's totally doable. Let's see how it goes. All right, so here we are at an optional obstacle. Uh, basically, you're gonna go off to the right to go around it or up, have some fun doing some big boy stuff. So as you're progressing through the last, say, quarter of the trail, it's just really bumpy. It's a very reminiscent of like Rubicon Trail, not in difficulty, but in the fact that it's just, just kind of constantly banging you around. There's ledges, there's loose boulders all along the way. And then sprinkled in are a few small ledges like this where sort of optional obstacle. You can hit the harder side if you want or kind of take the easier route up. So not too bad, just really bumpy. Kind of drags on a little bit. Just a little something to keep in mind when you're out in Moab. This black soil is called cryptobiotic soil. It's real sensitive, takes a long time to form. So just be careful and don't disturb it. Okay, so I'm recording the closing by the LED lights on the roof because um, we got a late start today, so we got a late finish. But we all got together today. We had a Jeep XJ with no lockers. We had a Titan Swap Nissan Xterra with rear locker. We had a couple of solid axle swap first gen Nissan Xterras, Tacoma, third gen 4Runner with crawler gears on 35s, lockers front and back. So a good mix of vehicles and we all casted a vote. We came up with 3.1 out of five for the difficulty rating of this trail. It beats you up a lot like Moab, just kind of rattles you around. The obstacles all in all aren't that bad because most of the hard ones have bypasses. You just gotta get down that one drop, which does have a, an option, but that option is a little bit sketchy. So that's what we thought. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the trail.
Johan.